So I like thinking of it as an ecosystem goal. Um, you know, uh, uh, businesses uh, don't just compete with businesses in the same industry sector. Um, we know that they they uh, compete across uh, competition, and in the same way, we should think about who marketing competes with or the uh, relationship between marketing and uh, other major factors um, that are the biggest determinants of health. So if I can put it simply, I would say that businesses cannot do without marketing and businesses cannot do without government. And it is really important for marketing to work more closely with government if they want to serve businesses. Oops, I'm, I'm hearing some feedback. Do you hear it too? I do. Len, if you could mute your phone, your microphone, that would be great. Thank you. Yes, I will do that right now. Okay. Thank you. So what you see on this slide is how marketing can help to bring all of the the different uh, pieces of the puzzle uh, inside this sphere. Uh, I, uh, Len already mentioned some of the, the social determinants of marketing. Um, nothing has brought us closer together globally than the COVID um, pandemic. I call it COVID plus in some ways, and we can discuss this in a little more detail if we time permitting later. Uh, I already discussed the link between health and business and government. And what I'd like to do now is focus on how technology, specifically telehealth, uh, can be used uh, with marketing to enable the world's largest organizations, especially the World Health Organization, um, to deal with um, the pandemic and the challenges that we're going to face in this century and the next century. Um, I, I will say that the early response, and just take one more minute, uh, lies be, the early response to the pandemic lies um, in looking beyond centuries old strategy to incorporating methods uh, that are familiar to every industry from banking to retail to manufacturing, but they still seem to be low in adoption in the health sector smartphones, data analytics, and artificial intelligence all make finding and treating people with an infectious disease and other health challenges far more efficient than ever before. So I just want to share with you a specific study that I'm involved with that uses technology to improve health. So let's start at the bottom. This is this can be used for, for uh, medication compliance across disease states. And in this case, I think it was, we're working on uh, diabetes medication. And what you see at the bottom is Pilsy or an electronic pill bottle. Uh, every time a patient opens that bottle and, and takes out a pill, data is transmitted to our server. And that data allows us to use behavioral segmentation to understand uh, when, when the medication was taken, but most importantly, from a marketing perspective, which text message actually increased versus undermined compliance. Now, how do we connect the text message to the, the Pilsy bottle? What we do is, now you can go from left to right in, in the top row, once we have data on the behavior, that data is updated to um, uh, in, uh, as input for an algorithm um, that helps to predict which message we should use the, to send to the to the patient. So it's customized one-on-one -on -one marketing, and based on previous compliance, we use customize text messages to encourage people with diabetes to take their medication. So it's just one example of a loop. We have about 96 messages and very excited for marketing to be part of telemedicine.